Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fluffy's Brick Studio, and today we will be taking a look at Light My Bricks, Viking Village Light Kit to transform your village experience to the next level with Light My Bricks Light Kit 1.0 version. And the reason why I have to emphasize on what version it is, is because Light My Brick has now just introduced themselves in the 2.0. Check out this video right here to know more about Light My Brick 2.0. But if you want to just see the review of this set in more details of the actual set itself, the Viking Village, definitely take a look down in the description. You'll see the set video if you want to see just a review. But today we are going to be looking at the light kit. Stay tuned to the end because that's when I'll be shutting the lights off so you can see it fully in the dark. This light kit's got a lot of features. Some new, some hidden, some expand. So right off the bat, you can see a lot of glowing things. You see a glowing light here, which you'll see more in depth when it is uh, dark. So this pretty much, this light right here, panels over and covers into the bridge, just to show some light. You got a brick built by Light My Brick lantern here. And here, that is custom made by Light My Brick. You also have right here, I call this the North Star. And when the lights are out, you'll see why I call this the North Star. This literally, this light right here, this single light right here, illuminates this whole set to make it look like it is being glowed by the blue star. You know how Vikings were very into the whole blue star. So we're going to take some tops off here so you can be able to see a little bit more. You've got flickering LED here, which makes the fire look like it's illuminating inside, with also a lantern sitting on top of the tool. Over on this one, you have a lantern sitting right next to the chief seat. I don't know if you can really see that, but right here it, near the chief seat, is a light, but if you look peek right through the door, you can see the fire is illuminated too, which really sparks the resemblance of what it would look like back in medieval time. We're going to move this all the way around, all the way around, because there is something that you must see in the back. So you know how there's that dungeon right here? The dungeon is illuminated with a green LED. But since I got you in the back, you can technically pop this side wall off, and there is more light inside. So as you can see, there is tons of features in just this light kit to expand the set itself to make it look 100% realistic. I phenomenally love this build. I'm actually curious if they would take this set and make a 2.0 version which then makes it illuminate a little bit more, maybe with their new skinny wire. I don't want to get in depth about 2.0, but there's a lot of good features when it comes along the lines of 2.0 that could have been used on this. So this is what it looks like. I personally, before we get and turn the lights off, and you see the little ending video of what it completely looks like at night, I absolutely love this set, phenomenally, 100%. It looks fantastic with the flickering LEDs, the Chiefs area. Everything in here, if you guys are wondering where all the effect boards and stuff, it's under the Chiefs area. All under the Chiefs area is where all the wiring is hidden. It's almost as if Lego purposely left a hole there for wiring to be stuck. You never know. They could have. Who knows? That's something we just will never 100% know. I phenomenally love this. I love Light and Brick. You're going to see a lot more Light My Brick reviews. And since Light My Brick came out with 2.0, you're going to start seeing builds and lighting done at the same time. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Stay right here as you see the in-depth look with the lights off. But as always, I'll see you guys again next time. Keep building your life one brick at a time. Enjoy.